But no one's exactly sure how old they are because no one really knows when they were planted, do they, Justine? No, and no one really knows how they came to be here. But we rather fancy rather that fancy. there were two great white birds and they flew, they came from a long way away and they flew and they flew and they flew and they were looking for just the right place to plant something special that they each carried with them. In the beak of each great white bird was a tiny seed. Now they flew and they flew and they were getting very tired, but they flew forever because they knew they had to find just the right place. And just then the birds flew above this yard and they saw children playing in front of this house. They, they saw that there weren't any trees in the yard at that stage, but they, it seemed like a happy place to the birds. It seemed it was the right place. So they flew down and landed, and they hid in an asparagus plant. Later that night, while the children were asleep, the two birds came out onto the lawn and began to dance in circles around and around, looking for the softest, richest soil to plant their seeds. I know for sure she kept a cane, and she would take the cane off and she would whip, whip your hand or whip, whip your bottom <laughs> until you are red raw. She would open up the door to the cellar and she, she, she would just drop you in and shut the door. And now the cellar is a dark, dank place that runs underneath the house. It's very damp and cold, awful in winter. And in summer, you know what they do? No. The exactly, they oh. slither all the way under the grate. Francis was calling me horrible names, so I snatched her gloves and threw them in the mud. That is a well. What do we keep in wells? Water. Yes. Coins and we water. And water, exactly. And water. coins to make a wish. Then I had to walk all the way back from Danny Long Station with those heavy buckets of water on my back. Oh, how my back would ache. Oh, my ankles, my hips. It was a nightmare. Yeah. Thank you.